Wondering if Fireball Island is right for you? Stay tuned. This is for Geeks by Geeks. Let's geek out. Welcome back to Four Geeks by Geeks. I am Bozer. I'm PK. And today we are joined by our tabletop gurus. Well, we just <laughs> finished playing Fireball Island by Restoration Games, and we wanted to let you know what to think of it in case you are in the market and you're wondering if it is the right fit for your family. So, PK, on a scale of one to five, what would you put it as far as uh, difficulty? <laughs> one. <laughs> um, it has marbles on it, man. <laughs> like, uh, no, it, it's really simple. You, you don't even need dice to move. They're hefty, hefty. Uh, you move with cards. It's super simple. Um, yeah. I mean, they'll tell you more about why I think it's super, super simple. But like, I, it's for anybody to play. It's a really good family game. I think. Yeah. As far as difficulty, I think I'm right there with you. Like a one, um, one and a half. Just because I think the rules. To start took took a little minute because of all the little things that you can do with the treasure and the, the photographs. As the guy who rushed to get the photos and lost the game. I didn't you know. Uh, but I think as far as yeah, you move around, you flick a marble, you drop a marble. It's pretty simple, but it does have a kind of ending. Um, it has like a forbidden island kind of esque mm -hmm. ending. We have to hurry to get to the ending, and so. For that alone, the strategizing how to complete your objectives, I would give it that extra half a point. <laughs> so, one and a half for me. What about you guys? Oh, it's yeah. like a half. Yeah, super simple. As you can see, they are um, well acquainted with gaming. So as far as this, yeah, this would probably fall in a half as far as yeah, yeah I mean, if, gamers. If, if you're talking about like somebody who's used to rule heavy games, you're gonna sit down, learn these rules in about I don't know, 10 minutes at, at most, and probably have the game played within But, I mean... But like, it's real cute, it's fun. Yeah. It's, and your kids can play. Kids love it. Wait, Our like, kids played... Yeah, you guys haven't beaten your kids once yet, have you? No, not yet. No, they figured nope. out the strategy way before Ryland's <laughs> won every game we've played with yep. him so far. The nine-year-old figured it out. So... Um, but he loves it. And he loves it. Ian, and Ian doesn't play a lot of our games, but he likes The colors, lot. the levels, the fact that they're actually and moving things, especially if you have children that are more kinesthetic learners that mm -hmm. like to move in order to learn. It it's not just counting, like you get to flip things and you don't know where the ball's gonna go when you drop it yeah. in there. It's got a it's got a mouse trap kind of chancy feel. Yeah. Which is great. So as far as playability, um, like replayability, what would you put it at? Would you do it again? Replayability? On a scale of one to five. Yeah. I don't know, like a three. Like, okay. like I would definitely do it again, but it wouldn't be like my first choice. Uh, just cause, I mean, it looks nice and it's out there, but like there's just other games that are equally as easy to pick up, which have a little less give, and I'd rather play those. They're just a little more enjoyable, personally. Is it uh, the randomness of the balls going all over the place? No, I don't mind that, but like... Um, it's just kind of simple. It's just very simple. Yeah, so for you veteran gamers, you know, this probably wasn't going to be the first thing that you reached for. But I was thinking, either, if... For me, I, yeah, replayability, maybe with my wife, as I've stated, she doesn't like those complicated games, so she might actually really like this. But if I had kids, I would... If they were waiting for a game to play, excuse me, we're doing a video. <clears throat> I just want a low flying plane noise. What do I want them? Meow. <sighs> These are the jokes. Um, if I had kids, because you know, like, you, well, you might not know because you have a thousand games to choose from. Yep. But when I was a kid, I always brought my parents or my sisters the same game. So if they brought me Fireball Island, I keep wanting to say Fireball Nation, Fireball Island. I would probably be like, hard. okay, yeah, let's play. Everything was fine until the Fireball Nation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you guys? Um, as far as replayability goes, I mean, like you said, for kids, it's great. The pieces are colorful. They're not super hard to manipulate or anything like that. The rules are pretty straightforward. It covers what happens if you accidentally knock something down. So, like, if you've got it, if you have a kid that doesn't have great. Um, Mobility, like fine motor skills, mm -hmm. which they don't have until about kindergarten, um, it, it's fine. It covers all that. So, 
I mean, honestly, with kids, high replayability. I think it also depends on the people that you play with. Like if it's, if you're just getting around like together to mess around, this is good. And it's not gonna take long to, to play yeah. and or learn. If you're waiting for the pizza, this is a game to play. Great game. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. He agrees. She speaks for the Sirachas. <laughs> So if if you have kids, basically we're saying if you have kids, this is a perfect game for them. If you're more of a veteran player, this probably isn't going to be the first thing that you go for. But all in all, I had a good time. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was enjoyable. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I got 21 I like points. Learning new games. I lost, and I thought I was this close to winning. And I need so to, to the end. So that's the uh, moral of the story. So, big question. Would the game make... Your illustrious shelf. So I know these are like just the games you guys. So make. probably not this shelf. It would make that shelf. That's the backup shelf over there. Well, it's no, the those kids are shelf. kids. Kids games. <laughs> and the oh. and the the boys did say that they they want the game. Yeah. Okay. And they want it for Christmas. Okay. So, so like they, when they when after we played it, they're like they wanted to keep it. And, I and like, we had well, to spend hours. Hours. <laughs> hours. Oh. So and they're gosh. like, well, we want it, and I said, we'll see. So the only problem yeah. I have, it's very boxy. Flimsy. Yeah. And it didn't come with bags, so you like everything. Like if you didn't, if we didn't all have bags from are... all these other games, they expect you to just throw all the pieces in the box. You're going to lose something for sure. <laughs> That's getting edited. No, it's she's not. fine. That was she terrifying. is fine. Other than that, like if it's a little bit better quality, yeah. So basically, your quality is a big cut for you. Yes. Yeah. Because especially if it's something that you're going to be letting kids play. Yeah. Right. They they're going to be opening that box. Yeah. They're going to be messing it around. They're going to like if it was only going to be me ever touching it, I can make sure. Okay, I know this is flimsy. I'll be careful. I'll be gentle. And kids, yeah. kids aren't gonna. I it's mean, the most we had so many thing. broken boxes growing up. Did you? Yeah. You oh know? yeah. Candy land. Wait, the right. boys Monopoly. broke the box to rampage, and that's the last box they took in this house. Uh huh. Oh so, but how fun was Candyland, guys? <laughs> the best. I, okay, that in that thing, this does have an ear similarity to it. There's it randomness is. to it. You move to wherever it tells you to go to. But that had one linear place. This has a thousand ways true? to get to. If I get all the way to the end and I draw the candy cane for us, I'm going to be upset, but it's happened. Hi. Oh, yeah, I forgot how to play Candyland. I'll never forget. Hello. Rage. Um, but... <laughs> Like you said, your kids really but want it. But they loved it. Yeah, they really and so loved it. So we'll probably get it for them because of that. And but... and they can play together. They don't need adult supervision to play. The rules are easy enough that a six-year-old and a nine-year-old can play together without fussing at each other. So, if you are a tabletop enthusiast that has kids and you want them to be tabletop enthusiasts, go on down to your local game store, like Secret Door Games, and pick up this game for them for Christmas. Or whatever holiday you may celebrate. 2019. Um, you head down to 215 Main Street, downtown Elkhart, Indiana. And if you go down there right now, and you mentioned you saw this video, this review, on 4Geeks by Geeks, they will even give you a discount. Which, at the price of the game, could uh, could be really nice, for, especially around the holidays. So head on down. That's the political regret way of saying it. Ah, anyway, so, hope you like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and punch that notification bell. And follow us on all social media for Geeks by Geeks. And until next time, I'm PK. I am the there. Sriracha. I'm sorry. And you just keep geeking out! out.